there. My name is Mrs. Burroughs. I am Matthew's teacher. You must be his mother. Um, so you're Mrs. Hart. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh no, there's, there's absolutely no need to be alarmed. There's no problem. Um, I mean, he's a little bit behind on some of his schoolwork and homework. So, as a result, his grades have been dropping a little bit. But, that's why I called you here today, because I'm sure before the issue escalates, we can, we can talk about it and work on Matthew's performance, okay? Great. So, I just have some stuff here that I would like to go over with you. Um, first of all, this is his math report for the last test that I gave at the end of, at the start of this month, I apologize. And he actually scored the worst results in the whole class. Um, he did not pass the test. He, um, oh, I'm sorry to have to say this, but it was not a good result for any parties concerned and it's clear, it's evident to me that Matthew didn't even bother to study or look over the problems that I had given him. And that's what I, what I want to talk to you today about, um, about the level of his homework and does he study at home and what kind of, um, what kind of, um, student is he at home? Does he do his homework and stuff, so... So if I could just ask you, does he spend a lot of time on maths or any of his other subjects? No. Um, may, may I ask why that is, if, if you don't mind? It's playing the PS3. <laughs> Believe me, that is not something that I'm surprised to hear because all of my students at one point or another have had the same problem. Um, people seem to get addicted to these things. <laughs> Um, I have a little sister, and she's the same. She's crazy like that. She just sits in front of a thing for hours, and now that these um, new Assassin's Creed game has come out, she's not showing any signs of moving anytime soon, <laughs> so I can definitely relate. But if you like, and uh, this is totally up to you, but we could work together and try and find maybe a schedule. We could come up with some kind of little schedule for Matthew so that he could separate his time between schoolwork and playing because at the end of the day we both we just want what's best for him and I think that will be evident I think that is evident, at least I hope it is and I think, you know, math is an area that he has shown um, what is the word I'm looking for he has shown great promise in, in the past so I know that if he would just apply himself just a little bit more then we would not be having this conversation. I just think he just really needs to work to work on the on the maths issue and I can promise you that there will be some improvement. So would you be interested in maybe working with me and finding a schedule and trying to coordinate Matthew's schedule in order to accommodate more study time? You would. Well that is fantastic. We can make an appointment for that. I will put this math test aside for now because that is perfect. Um, I have to say, in um, in history, he's very good at history. I can tell that he has a real um, a real passion for the subject. He really he likes what he's learning and he really likes what he does. And yes, I think that's with most of my students. If they if they enjoy a subject, they will be more likely to participate and to do the work involved. So. History is absolutely no problem at all. Actually, what I did want to say to you is that this is actually fantastic. Um, he wrote this wonderful essay about World War II, and it's just perfect. It's just so detailed, and there's just so much light to it, and I really loved it very much, and especially he kind of paid this moving tribute at the end to the, to the victims, and it was just... It's just wonderful, and this little piece here, and so I can see that when Matthew really likes something, he will apply himself, as opposed to the math, which, which which he hates. So he's more inclined to do nothing about that particular subject. But this is really just wonderful. It's really really good. 
Um, did you know that your son enjoys history? You did. Oh, really? He, you, Matthew and his father, Civil War reenactments. That is pretty cool, I have to say. That is awesome. Perfect. You know what? Maybe you, we're actually going to be doing a project about the Civil War sooner rather than later. Um, I have a plan for next month, so maybe he could tell me about these experiences and he could share with the class. That would be really good. Thank you for telling me that. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, his um, history essay was fantastic. Really, really special. So congratulations and be sure to congratulate Matthew for me as well. It was really wonderful and I enjoyed reading every second of it. So the next thing which I do want to talk to you about is his geography homework. Um, as much as he loves history, he does not feel the same about geography and as a matter of fact, um, he hasn't actually turned in any geography homework for the last few weeks and I'm sure you didn't know, no, no, not at all, it's not a problem, I'm sure you didn't know, but he doesn't like geography. Um, he finds it very boring. I caught him listening to his headphones during geography a couple of times, and I admit I have a passion for geography, and I love the subject, and again, I know that Matthew has all this potential, so if he would just apply himself, it would just be perfect. He would be wonderful, you know, at this. And so, now I'm only suggesting this, but would you prefer if I had a conversation with Matthew or... Would you like to, to talk to him yourself about about this, about the homework? And I understand for parents it can be difficult sometimes. So would, would you prefer if, if I done it, or we could do it together, or would you like to handle this yourself? You'd like to handle this yourself. That is perfectly fine. I understand. That is that is totally that is totally perfect. Um, if you do need help, or if you'd like me to contribute at any time, please just let me know. That would be that would be wonderful. So yes, geography not doing too well, but I'm sure we can we can work on the issue and we'll be okay. Um, what else do I have on the list here? Oh, attendance. Attendance is perfect. There is nothing wrong with his attendance. He comes in every day. He's he's always such a happy, bright child. Like I said, he just he just needs to apply himself some more in certain areas and in certain subjects, but. His attendance sheet is perfect. He has one of the best attendances actually in my class, which is pretty good because they're all pretty good kids. So the fact that he's up there shows what a really good kid he is and that's pretty cool. So attendance is perfect. Attendance is not a problem at all. It's very, very good. Um, sick days again would be covered under attendance and he has very practically non-existent sick days again is just wonderful, which just proves that he is a very bright child and he does want to come in here and learn, so that's great. Um, again, the only area for concern would be the, the PS3 and the time that he would rather dedicate to that than to his schoolwork, so um, I think we can, I think we can um, work something out about, about that issue. Um, what else do I have here? Projects. Yep, all his project work is up to date. Except, of course, the geography project. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that when I was discussing geography a couple of minutes ago there. I did give a geography project as part of the work we were doing, but he didn't complete it. So, again, because obviously he has no love for the subject, he's not going to want to apply himself in that field. But, again, we can work on this. So, geography and math are kind of the only two areas that I'm actually worried about because the rest are pretty fine to be honest. Um, no other problems that I can think of. Um, in terms of um, socializing, in terms of how he blends in with the other children, so I have a report here, he's fine. Sometimes he can be a bit shy. Um, compared to the other children, because the other children are much more outgoing and out there, but shyness is not a problem, you know, he's, he's fine, he has, he has a lot of good friends, and he likes to hang around with John, yeah, have you seen John, he's a, oh, you know John's mother, but that's good, he, he's a good kid, they like to talk about their games a lot, and 
you know, they they do work together a lot, and I think that's pretty cool. John is a good kid too, and it's nice to see them teaming up together because I always feel the worst thing that can happen to a child is to fall in with a bad crowd, especially at the sensitive age. But with Matthew, there is no need to worry. He's wonderful friends, and he picked a wonderful best friend in John, and it's all good. Um, so that's pretty much us finished here. Um, like I said, there's, there's no other major issues apart from the math and the geography, but I'm sure we can work on that, okay? I'm sure it will be perfect. So, thank you very much for coming here today. It was a pleasure to meet you, and by the way, those cookies that you dropped off at the bake sale last week were just amazing. I had five of them, but shh, don't tell anybody I'm supposed to be on a diet, okay? It was a pleasure to meet you. You are a lovely woman, and I can see where Matthew gets his, um, it's a spark from. So thank you for coming and we can work on these issues. Okay, so take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.